So some salient pop culture references. I mean, like more contemporary stuff. Uh, so there's a, uh, there's this this uh, documentary um, called uh, A Glitch in the Matrix, uh, which would be interesting for you to watch after me discussing this history of modern philosophy, because you have people, what it, what it does is it, it documents people who believe that they are living in a matrix type simulation of the real world. And these are people that are out walking around in the real world who believe that they are in a simulation and that they're living in the matrix in some way. Uh, and uh, as is shown in the documentary, this isn't just you know, some people here and there, but even Elon Musk uh, has promoted this idea. Um, and now what I find interesting about it is that it seems that they're very intrigued with this idea of living within a simulation, but it isn't clear from the documentary, and this could just be the, the creators of the documentary aren't tuned in, or, or it could be the people themselves are not tuned in, but um, I think that their whole discussion would be greatly enhanced if they went through and read some uh, uh, Descartes, many of them probably did re read Descartes at one point, but then read Leibniz and think about Locke and Hume and Kant and, uh, and Hegel, right? And it, it seems, and, and you could be the judge of this for yourself, maybe you have a different uh, opinion, it seems that they haven't really considered all these historical discussions of very similar things. And, um, and so, uh, you know, there is this kind of, there is a kind of uh, sadness, you know, philosophical sadness, like in that Hegelian sense, where these people seem trapped in a delusional version of, of these sort of philosophical reflections that, at least borders, if not as full blown paranoia. Um, and I think it would be great therapy uh, for these people to actually do some philosophy and, and think through these historical discussions and see if that doesn't help to make sense of their experience. Um, but it seems like they're, they're kind of discussing all this matrix stuff without actually taking the time to just go and read the philosophy books, you know? Um, uh, there's another, uh, uh, now that's, that's a, a documentary movie. This next, uh, Devs, is a, is a television show. Uh, I think it's on Hulu. Um, and uh, now it's a little more critical uh, it, it is actually the story of, of a tech company making the matrix, <laughs> you know, making a matrix that not only is just a, an alternative a version of the world, but that actually can go backwards in time and look at the historical past and even go into the future and look at the future because the matrix is using data from the real world so that it can predict uh, forward and backwards um, what, it, what has happened and what will happen. And then it gets into, it, it does explore the philosophical con, con, concepts uh, much more uh, uh, coherently and, and explicitly. And there's even this one scene where one of the developers uh, on the devs development team, uh, Stuart, uh, reads a poem and and uh, and he's reading it and kind of confronting his boss and his boss, you know, is is kind of monomaniacal and 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 
there's you know moral problems with him and um and Stewart's beginning to feel that he's you know complicit in some of this immorality and he's confronting his boss and um and he reads this poem and uh while his boss is sort of trapped with him in an elevator sort of situation. And, uh, and then, you know, he presses the boss to say, you know, who do you think that is? What, who do you think that is? And, you know, and the boss cannot, and he, the boss is like the big genius that put the whole matrix thing together. Uh, but he has no clue. He has, he, and, and the poem is actually relatively obscure, but, um, but, you know, the boss couldn't even begin to venture a guess because he's that uneducated in the humanities and and um, and, and you know and this kind of points to that same kind of sadness that I see in the glitch in the matrix. You have all these people that are investing so much time and energy and intellectual energy into things, but they're not taking the time to 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 look at the past and, and look at what people have said already. You know, they, they think they're coming up with all these great ideas and sometimes they're just mistakes that we've already sorted out. Um, and it, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a stoner approach uh, to intellectualism. Uh, uh, so, you know, and this is actually an article that describes the scene, but, you know, if you have the time, I, you know, watching this show is actually a, a really good um, meditation on all this modern philosophy as the way I've presented it. You know, and I, I presented it all in such a way as to nicely fit, you know, with this, this sort of story. And then finally, I have here a song from the Smiths, um, uh, whose chorus is, uh, does the body rule the mind or does the mind rule the body? You know, so that's, you know, why that phrase comes to my mind uh, quite frequently in this discussion. Okay, so those are some things that you might wanna take a look at.